Hello everybody, it's Paul Stranger today. I'm going to discuss about the good old days of Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, what do I mean by the good old days? When Five Nights at Freddy's, the first one came out, everything, to me, it had that feeling when the first one came out. Now, we all get those certain feelings of a game series, and to me, it's Five Nights at Freddy's, having that, you know, that mysterious feel, like, you really want to know the story and some its mystery and obviously the Tord the Torridon March and you know I was like ooh can't wait if there's gonna be a second one and then the second one comes out and everyone's like ooh and then that feeling is there again but when it heads up to the third game it, it kind of goes and then you notice people got theories left and right and you no, know, I can easily tell that Five Nights at Freddy's, you know, at the start, there was a couple of theorists, you know, people starting to build up, I, I started doing theories when number one came out, and, and over time, more and more people done theories, and then you had more and more theories to look at, and you didn't pretty much have a lot of time to really look at one theory or another. You know, some theories would be debunked, some were buffed up, and some just stayed where they were. And then we had the, you know, FNAF fan made games, like One, and, one Night at Flumpty's 1 and 2. There was going to be One Week at Flumpty's, but that was cancelled for a specific reason. You can look that up yourself. And we've got the Five Nights in Anime we have. Also, Five Nights in the Chum Bucket, Five Nights at the Krusty Krabs. Oh, God, you can name the best Five Nights at Freddy's fan made games I try to make my own version called Five Nights in well One Night at Putis and it failed miserably by using Scratch and I think it didn't go so well basically it was just utter failure but I think it wasn't really worth wasting my time I know I've uploaded videos on it but it's quite sad really but if I ever gonna do my own fan made game I'll use something like I don't know Game Maker, which will take pissing forever for me. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's going to be very hard. But that said, now when we all knew number three was the most hyped, but you're probably asking, what's this feeling? Well, the good old days of Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm talking about number one and number two before we even knew there was going to be a third game. You know, I think Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2 had a certain place in people's hearts. Like the first one, we didn't get... We had certain hints of information. The children being killed, what's in the kitchen, the golden Freddy. <clears throat> some... The, the puppet, the crying child. Is Foxy a good guy, bad guy? You know, all those theories on the first game. And then when Five Nights at Freddy's 2 was announced with its teaser image, teaser images, you know, we had the Something Borrowed, Something New, which was the two Bonnie images. And then we basically had the two Foxies, which was which we thought was going to be two Foxies, but actually we had Mangle and Withered Foxy. And then, oh yeah, we had obviously Withered Freddy holding his hat, saying Grand Reopening. 2015, which was going to be the game's release, but it wasn't. That was Five Nights at Freddy's 3 it was released for. And everyone was so hyped. Fury was going off right when the trailer came out. It, it, sh it was pretty epic. It showed each certain animatronics that gave bits of information, bits of what the gameplay is going to be like. You know, we, we thought of this Balloon Boy character, which was true, and then and then the puppet. The puppet was the iconic character people were interested in. And then when the game came out, everyone was like, Whoa, this is totally different from FNAF, from FNAF 1. You know, the first game is about the metal doors with the power system. Conserve your power and you were vulnerable when the doors were open. And then Scott changed it to saying, Goodbye doors, hello mask, and... A flashlight from that annoying fox who's trying to mull your frontal lobe. You know, it added like 12 animatronics that try to kill you, and that's a lot. You know, it's bad enough there were 
four plus Golden Freddy as a random Easter egg. But that was just like nuts. You know, I think there was a lot of rage quits and a lot of people, especially Markiplier and many others. And yeah, it was pretty hectic at the brilliant time. And then we had the death mini games that revealed different events like the Go Go Foxy mini game, the um, Fred Bear's Pizza mini game, and we, and also the main pizzeria itself with Purple Guy saying you can't, and Freddy saying save them, help them. I think stop him and the purple guy saying you can you can't save them you pretty much get the picture and then phone guy everyone's like whoa I thought, we, I thought he was dead no this is a prequel sequel you know and then we have game theory and then we have songs as well from the living tombstone so then after to this year we had five nights at freddy's free which we all thought to be honest, we all of us thought was the last game, but it wasn't. Scott slaps us in the face and goes, Not exactly, I actually have a fourth one right here waiting for you guys. And everyone's like, Oh my god, a four, five, nine, six, Freddy's. And I bet there'll be people who'll be like, Oh, for fuck's sake, will this ever end? Particularly Game Freak, I think he's probably fed up. Especially with the uh, theory videos he put up. Especially the one he's like, no, no, it's another Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> but Scott Cawthon, guys, he, you know, he won't give up. He will announce if it's going to be the last one. So really, there will be always another one. <laughs> Paul, I feel bad for Markiplier because he was hoping there would be never, never, there'll be no more Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, that Scott slapped him in the face with number four. Oh dear. Well, that said, though, the good old days of Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2 were pretty cool and interesting. Yes, Five Nights at Freddy's 3, it's more leading up to... I can even say the kids stuff and everything was pretty cool in number 1 and 2. Number 3 was based on more of a horror attraction and more concentrated on Purple Guy and Springtrap. It doesn't feel like the good old days, it feels like we're more up to the more the future than the past but we don't know about the fourth one it could be the past or it could not be I don't know really though but it's very interesting how the game has developed and Scott's been getting better and better and better and with that really said to a downloadable game to on Steam to the biggest thing on the internet I think Scott Corvin has really done what he's done you know what, I think this is the best game, yeah, it does have its scares there, here and there, and you get used to it. But I think it's the story and everything, and the characters people love. With that really said, what do you guys think? Do you miss the old days? Or do you think, well, what do you think, guys? Post in the comments, and you know what? Theories for days, but most of them are done by everyone else, and I'm like way behind. Anyway, thank you guys.